Hello, Cancer. Welcome to your June third week, 2021 general love reading. You can barely get that one out. I am in Nevada right now. I've been traveling all week. It took me about four days to get here. I'm outside on a box. We have nothing here yet. Nothing. All right, so just bear with me. We're just taking in the Nevada energy, the outside. It's beautiful. Not very perfect. Not, the lighting isn't very perfect, but it's all about the messages, right? So let's go for cancer. Let's go for cancer. I want to see what's going on with you, and then we're going to look into the general. All right. What's going on with cancer this week? Third week of June. You guys see the heart chakra needing to move on from something, or maybe finally things are moving forward in the right direction. But let's see. Love begins. All right. For some of you, love is in the air. I'm going to dive deep in there. Love is in the air there. All right. Passion ignited. Wow. That's a great way to start this. Ones are all about new beginnings, Cancer. Ones. All right. So you may be um, already, you might already know this person. All right. But it could be, or it could be just unexpected a new person coming in where they just ignite passion and um, love that you haven't felt in a while. And this passion ignited too is also talking about creative energy, talking about manifesting and also just using your creative energy to express yourself. Okay, so some of you may be really feeling creative um, this week, or the, you know, and that's been a lot of the energy shifts too in, in May and June, talking about being more expressive through creativity. And so some of you may be finding yourself tapping into your energies um, and just wanting to create, create, paint, draw music. I don't care what it is, you know, building something, fixing something, even car stuff, you know, things like that. All creative. What gets you into that flow? And this is also my card of communication too. So you could be receiving some sort of message from somebody that you, you um, do love, all right? Or who does love you. And so let's just keep going and see what happens. That's a great way to start. All right, getting over an emotional loss. So you are in a good place, okay? Um, you're, you're in a neutral place now. You may have just gone through a lot. I'm here in six months, six months this past year. Um, emotional loss, a lot of things, a lot of changes happening in your life, um, having to let go of a lot of things without being prepared to, you know, things like that. Um, things that you've been attached to and like, you know, you didn't make the choice to let it go. So it was harder to get over, you know, when it comes in somebody else or something takes that force, takes it away from you and you're forced to make a decision prematurely, you're kind of it's hard to deal with that sometimes, but you have to. My dog's here. Um, and I feel like you're finally getting to a place here where you're in a neutral state now. Like you feel more calm. Like you, you've dealt with it now and you're ready to clear the slate and ready to open up your heart again. And that's why you're gonna see the new beginnings coming in. And I do really feel strongly about that creative one where you're going to start expressing yourself with more creativity. Cre creativity. creativity. You know what? We're gonna skip that word and move on. You're gonna to learn to create. You're gonna to learn to. Um, you're gonna to start to create more, and it's going to make you look more attractive, which is going to um, be a magnet for love to come into your life. Is what I was trying to say there. All right. So as you express yourself more through creativity, love is going to find you. That's your message. Okay, my friends. All right. Look at that. Accelerated motion, speeding up. Things are going to start moving pretty fast from this point, all right? This is a lot of communication. So I do see a lot of communication coming in for um, for for you. And when I'm hearing it, when it's accelerated motion, and when I, what I'm seeing is, it's like it's not, this read isn't just love. This is you in love, in general, all right? So this is talking about a lot of the things that you've been thinking about that just you feel like it's been taking forever to 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 happen it's starting to move quick things are going to move quick and it's because you're in this neutral state of just receiving now all right you are you've cleared you're over the the emotional um, things that happened in the past now but you're at this state where now you're accepting more and things are coming in your coming your way and it's going to start happening fast and if it is messages and it could be travel too you could be traveling but i feel more it's about the things that you've been thinking about like things that have been on your mind heavily um and 
You're just gonna start uh, these cards. The wind, no matter whether I'm in Florida or if I'm in Nevada, the wind is always gonna get me. All right, that could be the speed. Things are gonna start coming in just like that, that wind, that acceleration card, all right? Picking up speed, picking up speed. Moving on, there we go. Moving towards calmer waters, Cancer. Moving towards calmer waters. So you're gonna start seeing things pick up and you're gonna start seeing movement happening in your life regarding both creativity and love. All right, it's gonna start picking up here. I knew there was gonna be a different energy towards June, July, and August. Um, for the past like three, four weeks, I've been feeling it. Um, and I feel like you're gonna be one of the signs that really feels this. You're gonna feel the acceleration, um, everything that you've been going through. You're just gonna start seeing a shift and, and you're gonna go, this is what all this, what all this means. This is what all this is talking about. And then it's gonna seem like you just kind of skipped timelines and now you're on a whole different path and you're just moving forward moving and just going. Right, it's going to feel weird, but material harvest. You're going to see money's coming in too. Money's coming in for you. All right, let's see what's going on with your love life. Let's see what's going on with love for the cancer. A lot of movement. That whole pile right there just says movement to me. Movement and new beginnings. What's going on with your love? Because we have love begins. Your love life is being affected by children, okay? So that could be you or your partner. Um, somebody has children or, you know, wants children or, you know, can't have children. It could be anything regarding children. But it's affecting your, um, maybe your decision on how to move forward. Maybe you have children. Maybe you've been through a divorce. I don't know. It could be anything like that. But it, there could be children involved that's kind of um, been putting things on hold, all right? But give this relationship a chance that's coming in for you, okay, Cancer? Give it a chance. Work on your partnership with this person. I think this person's willing to go the long haul with you. So if it is involving children, you can trust this person. Chemistry. There's a strong magnetic chemistry between the two of you. And that's that, look at that, that passion ignited, all right? So it is there, it is there. And you just have to give your relationship a chance. You have to look at the trust again, okay? There's so much attraction there. Attraction and chemistry between the two of you. And keep an open mind, all right? Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectation. Just keep an open mind with this and trust that you're gonna feel the attraction and chemistry and pull between this person no matter what, all right? Let's do, uh, Let's jump into this a little deeper. We'll do the Celtic spread. If this does resonate with you, I will go into the extended, um, more what the person feels about you, thinks their intentions. And I'll go out a couple, um, I usually been going out a couple months here too, but I usually go pretty deep in here. So let's just see what the, the Celtic spread says for my cancers. Cancer, here you are, independent, nine of pentacles, all right? Doing good, working, working on your monies. Again, you've been doing, you look good, all right? You do look like you've gotten over, you know, whatever whatever you've lost in the past here, you're in a place here where you just are like, I made it, I made it, I'm done. You know what I mean? Like I'm strong, I, could, I did it on my own. I got this, is the energy I'm getting from this. Okay, very independent energy. Something in the past really did um, make you stronger. You're very strong, all right? And I feel like you've been working hard. That's why you're gonna see a lot of money come in for you and you're moving towards, everything's gonna pick up a lot faster here. The issue here is you're still a little confused. It's a stalemate. So if this is somebody that you that you are um, regarding your love now, when I flip back and forth here, I'm looking at love. You're to steal me with this person because you don't know what to do. And I think it has to do with the children. Okay. And, but you're being asked to give it a chance and keep an open mind because there's a lot of attraction and chemistry there. What's the foundation? What's on your subconscious? Again, worrying and, and trying to make a decision. Juggling. Juggling work and juggling how you're going to make things work. How are you going to do this? Juggling, should I do it with this person again? Should I not do it? I mean, you just, you're, you have a lot of confusion going on. You're in your head. 
you're in your head. In the recent past here, the Wheel of Fortune. So there was some unexpected change that happened here in the, in the past, and I'll clarify that in a moment. But there was some sort of unexpected change that went on. All right, what crowns you as the Tower moment is, is um, unexpected change as well. So <laughs> a lot of change happened in here. We'll have to clarify that. So um, what weighs on you the Tower moment is Is you've gone through a change before, so much change before, why all this emotional loss that you finally got over with, that I think what you're afraid of, what's on your top of your mind is that happening again. You don't want to go through this again. Because whatever that was, was life changing. In the near future, the sun card, illumination and growth, could be with a Leo. This person could be a Leo. You're not going to give up on this person. All right. Companionship there, trust, vitality, life, life force. Something's going to bring something to life for you. And that's that new beginning, that passion ignited. All right, how do you see yourself? Cycle completion. Okay, so you do feel it. You feel as though you've completed a cycle in your life and now you're ready to start a new cycle. All right, you're, you're ready. You are ready and it's moving in fast. Where's that new beginnings card I had for you? Maybe that was the Scorpio card. You could be connecting with Scorpio. But the love begins and the love and the passion ignited. You see yourself as ready for a new beginning. All right, how does everybody else see you? They see you coming out. All right, you're not hiding anymore. You're kind of letting people know that you're not too, this is your card too, Cancer and Pisces energy. Um, other people see you kind of starting to open up. Ooh, come on, wind. How's story go with that? What's your hopes and fears? The moon card comes up. Here you are, Cancer. You have so many fears. All right. You don't like not knowing what's going to happen next. You don't like that. And that's why the tower moment is, is crowning energy for you. You do not like not knowing what's coming next. So the only thing you know how to do is to reminisce and hold on to what already happened. So you base your future off of what happened in the past. And so these fears are constantly coming up for you. And it's being able to let go of that, the past stories, and now recreating a new life, a new future from scratch. These cards are gonna blow around. Just bear with me. I'm out in the world, out in nature. All right, your outcome here, the Empress card. So we're talking about abundance, new beginning. New beginning, Cancer. Let me get this card. So that's pretty awesome um, outcome. Let me clarify these cards though now. And we'll go deeper into this. All right, come on. Let's clarify these cards for Cancer. You have to, you don't have to do anything. I don't like when I say that. You are holding on to your past, um, even though you're in a neutral state and you're ready to move forward, Cancer. It's, it's clear here. You're ready to move forward, but you still, the fears that pop up for you moving forward in a situation is that you still hold pretty tightly to what's happened to you in the past. Even though you're, you've let go and you're ready for a new beginning, it's really hard for you to, um, to completely completely let go where's that nine of pentacles with that nine of pentacles go hey it's over all right well one of your cards went flying and i don't know where it went it was the nine of pentacles which i know it it's here somewhere oh right, there it is jesus okay here we go. So you're showing up as the Nine of Pentacles. There it is in the Two of Swords, all right? Let me clarify that with the Moon card in reverse, okay? So you are ready to come out of the blues. You are ready to, to face your fears. You're ready. You, you're accepting certain things about yourself. You're accepting what's happened in the past, and you're ready to move forward, okay? That's clearly your card, all right? But again, that comes up in the future here as being what blocks you too. So you are ready to move forward, and you battle it, though, at times to move forward and just face your fears, all right? So we have 
the, there's my two cards. Hold on a second, Kimsa. The sun card. All right, so in the past, we have the Wheel of Fortune and we have the Queen of Cups. So things things moved pretty quickly in the past. This person could have been a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Things moved pretty quickly, but there was a strong bond there. You guys had a lot of feelings for each other. Definitely had a lot of feelings for each other and you weren't expecting this. You definitely were not expecting the, 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 um, the attraction that the two of you had. Um, initially and that's why the chemistry and the attraction came up okay and i don't know if you you gave it a chance or they gave it a chance the tower moment clarified by the wheel of fortune again you're afraid of unexpected you're afraid of the same thing to happen again with this new person or this person coming back all right this person in the past happened really quickly and it happened so fast that you didn't know what to do with it and you're afraid that that's going to happen again all right but in the near future we have the sun card here Illumination and growth with the justice card. Things are going to come to light. You're going to get the justice. Things are going to turn out in your favor. It could be a Libra you're connecting with or a Libra, a Leo. But things are going to turn in your favor this time. So give it a chance. Give this relationship a chance here. All right, how do you see yourself the, the world card? You're starting a new phase. Yeah, you're, you see yourself letting go. You do see yourself letting go and starting fresh. But again... We have how other people see you. People see you starting to come out and showing you. Feel. Yeah, they see people see you starting to communicate a little bit more. You're starting to let people know exactly how you're feeling and what's going on. So you're talking more. Um, your fears is the moon card, you know, and the waiting game. I mean, you're tired of waiting, but you're also don't want to. You, you're tired of waiting because your fears are getting to you. All right, so it's kind of like a. It's kind of like a, um, you just don't want to wait anymore because you think something's not going to happen for you. Well, this isn't going to happen for you. The Empress card, the Knight of Swords, then here you go. Decision and action. Somebody coming in, communication and wanting this new beginning. Could be a Taurus, again, that you're connecting with. But this is also about a birth, abundance, and coming in quickly. That acceleration card. All right. So your whole read here is basically telling me that you're coming out of the dumps from something and you're somebody's coming back around or somebody's coming in for you. It could be a completely new person. It didn't give me whether this was a past or a new person. It's just showing that whatever happened in the past happened so quickly and ended so quickly that you're afraid of the same thing happening again. But it shows that you're going to have a new beginning with somebody who's going to come in pretty quick. Somebody who's pretty sure about what it is they want. So this person knows what they want. Okay? I don't know in this read in particular. It could be a past person, present person. You play it as a, you, you, if it resonates with you, it resonates with you. But you are definitely, definitely cancer. You have a new beginning with creativity and passion, a new beginning with love, and you're moving forward, moving forward towards calmer waters with somebody here who's coming in to definitely tell you how they feel. And they're definitely, they're coming in fast. And the four of wands popped out too. They want a commitment, okay? You're just afraid of repeating the past. All right. I love you guys. If you want to go into the extended, I will go into the extended. I'll take a closer look at your person coming in, see how they feel about you, see who this is and their true intentions and yours. And we'll kind of go out into the next couple months and see what's going on. I love you guys. Take care. Thank you for being patient with my background. I am a nomad right now, so I've got to kind of go with the flow and um, be warm out. And this is it. All right. Love you guys.